If you're a graphic designer, photographer, or digital artist, considering the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC for your day-to-day -day workflow, this is the perfect video for you. We're going to start out with the Photoshop Puget Systems benchmark test, and as you see, it outranks any computer I've ever had on my channel. Now, I use this to benchmark a laptop because it is the most intensive tool in the Adobe Design Suite, and it's a great reference if you're also considering something like Figma, Sketch, the Affinity Design Suite, or any other tool in the Adobe Design Suite because Photoshop is such an intense tool. Now, one standout feature of this laptop Top besides the excellent color accuracy of 100% sRGB and 100% DCI-P3 with 95% Adobe RGB is the Gigabyte Control Center. You can truly control the fan modes with optimal accuracy. Now, the reason this is important is because if you're in a quiet office setting, you can get it down to below 35 decibels throughout your entire Photoshop workflow. But if you're in a louder setting and you don't care how loud your fans are and you just want the laptop to be as fast as possible, you can boost those fans up and it's a powerhouse of a machine. Now I ran the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark at each fan noise level, and I also ran this laptop in multiple RAM configurations. So hang on, because we're gonna get into that in just a second. So on quiet mode at 35 decibels, it scored a 612. On normal mode at 47 decibels, it scored an 890. On gaming mode at 50 decibels, it scored an 867. And on deep control at 58 decibels, it scored an 884. So note that you can actually get the best performance out of this laptop on normal mode. So if you pick up this laptop and you think, I need the best performance, if you actually stick with normal mode, which will keep you at 47 decibels or below, you're gonna get the best performance. You never even have to get the computer that loud. I think that's awesome. Now next, as promised, should you get 16 or 32 gigs of RAM? If your budget can allow, I'd recommend 32 gigs of RAM. Because if you use this laptop on 16 gigs of RAM, you don't have a higher ceiling inside of Photoshop or other design tools, which then limits the performance so for instance, running the Photoshop benchmark with 16 gigs of RAM scored a 683 and running it with 32 gigs of RAM scored an 890. So you can see that you get over 200 points more by adding that extra 16 gigs of RAM. Now, if your budget currently only allows you to get the 16 gig variant, you can upgrade later. Now, another important consideration is battery life. And though this computer does have a 99 watt hour battery, which is the maximum limit for flight and should give you a ton of battery life, running the Photoshop Puget Systems benchmark on repeat gave me about two hours and 18 minutes of battery life. Now, that is a very intense workflow and it's pushing the laptop the entire time. So if you're just doing a moderate workflow inside of Photoshop, I can anticipate you getting about three to four hours of battery life but truly no more than that. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I will see you here in the next video.